match number 113, our penultimate match of the qualifications. Let's talk a little bit about what we have going on right here. We've got our number one seed, 1986, leading the Red Alliance. Our number three and six seeds are over here in blue. 11-14, Symbotics has a chance to take over the number one seed, but they're gonna need to take home all four ranking points to do it. Otherwise, Team Titanium will be our top seed going into playoffs. This is gonna be an outstanding match. Let's meet all our teams. First up, make some noise for Team 548. From Northville, Michigan, the Robo Stags. And then they're trying to go wire to wire in that top position. It's 1986. From Lee's Summit, Missouri, it's Team Titanium. And the final member of this Red Alliance, a strong performer all week, 3504. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Girls of Steel. The Blue Alliance looking for the upset begins with Team 48. 14. From London, Ontario, in the number six position, Incubator. Next to them in the center station, it's 54 13. From Mansfield, Ohio, Stellar Robotics. And they are the only team that can unseat 1986. It's 11 14. From St. Catharines, Ohio, currently in the number three position, Symbotics. Everything on the line here in qualification match number 113. Pilots ready for flight. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! Robots in motion. We have seen both of these teams with robots capable of hurling tremendous amounts of fuel during the autonomous period. We have got one gear up on each side. We have got fuel in the boiler. 20 for red and still counting 28 for red and 14 for blue. Red Alliance with a slight advantage. Blue Alliance looking to catch up. With that fuel on the floor and in the air, we've got 50 points for red. Well beyond that 40 point threshold. That's one rank point for red. One rotor turning for red, one rotor, no, two to rotors turning for blue. Blue Alliance playing tremendous defense, preventing the Red Alliance from delivering gears. Or maybe the Red Alliance is hoarding gears on the floor, waiting to make a statement, a bold statement, as they engage multiple rotors simultaneously. Fifty-four thirteen just took a huge hit. They're stunned, but they recover. Three rotors turning for blue, looking to do four. There goes more fuel into the high-efficiency boiler by Blue Alliance. They're now looking to catch up in the fuel race. 30, 33, going to 34. We need five rotors, four rotors on the Red Alliance side to get that last, or four gears to get the last rotor turning. 114 is looking to extend that pressure differential. They've got a full load of fuel right now. They are going to load it up. There we go, going to hit the 40. Not as accurate as we've seen is the pressure on the team causing the inaccuracy in their aim. 37, they need that rank point. What are they going to do? Are they going to go for it? Blue Alliance, are they going to go for that rank point? Blue Alliance is not going to go for it. Playing it safe. They scale. They've got four rotors turning. Red Alliance has three robots up. Now they have three robots up. And that will be it. This is close to a high score for this event. Will it be an event high score? Robots along and across the line. Red Alliance with 413 points. 1986 Titanium preserves its position. 548, 
vaults up from 17 to number 8. On the blue alliance, the number 3 and number 6 seeds hold on to those coveted top 8 positions. 